Well, how's it going tonight? Uh, an interesting day. Uh, we got a few spots sold, so I'm happy with that. Uh, I went by and picked up a jumbo and a hobby. So I'm going to run these as just little fun breaks. This is for me, but I'm just going to video and practice and stuff, see what's going on. Anyway. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Busted all that other stuff. I don't get to keep any of the base. So I want to. I want. I need my set too. So this is for my set. All right. So this is for a one box break of 2020 Top Series One Jumbo. This is a personal for me. But just want to go ahead and been wanting to get one for me. And my turn. We'll see what we get. Get a, should get a set out of it. I always like to sort one box just completely by itself just to make sure that uh, you know enough cards are in the set, the collation's good, all that good stuff. So it's always kind of fun when you do that. See what happens. All right, so box topper will go first. And we get Aquino for Cincinnati, rookie. All right. A good start, and yeah, we'll see what we get for our blue pack. Mattingly, Altuve, Devers, Strawberry. All right, pack number two. Usually, you get one special or something sometimes out of each two. So, this one looks like I get messed up, but ooh, okay, never mind. You're done. I'll take that because I didn't have that card. Tristan and a Kyle Lewis rookie. So that's not bad either. And Mr. MVP, Pete Alonzo. I think we're doing just fine. All right. Let's see what we get in these big patties. Keyboard out of the way here. There we go. Jacob DeGrom. Let's see. How about there? Okay. David Buddy, Chris Archer, Peralta, Kirby Yates, John Gray, Michaelis. There's Vlad's card this year. Not a bad looking one. Tyler Reedy, Kendall Martell, Chris Paddock, Tyler Naquin, Giolata, Zach Nicky, that dude, Hollywood Heroes. <laughs> That's a cool car. And my, I think my favorite car from the whole thing, Big Air, Big Hair. Pretty cool. All right, give me a second here. Somebody buzzed in. I'll bet it's my one of my. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Okay, think about that for a few minutes. Just had a nice offer on the uh, card from yesterday, but I'm going to wait a little bit and think about it before I make a snap decision. Robinson Cano, foil, and a gold of Zach Grinke for the Astros, 105.9 of 2020. Alex Rodriguez. Runs created above average. And a Chris Sale, 1985. Kyle Hendricks. Polanco, Devers, 
Rialto, Grinky, Chapman. Adbert Alize, rookie. Gregory L, Michael Baez, Suna, Rios, and Tommy Lestrella. All right. Not too bad. Pack for pack one. What we got back to here. Alright, well, here's a big old fat card in there. Judge. Brandon McKay. Jay Bruce. Abel Garcia, rookie for the Cubs. Corbin, Alazar, Alfaro, Hendricks, Miguel, Zach Wheeler, Jerm Marquez. All right. All right. Four old Dodgers team card. A gold Andres Munez for a rookie for the Padres of. Gold 2020. Congratulations, you have seen a James Talvin Global Medal card from Canada. James Jameson Talion. Okay. Decades next, Gavin Lux, rookie. And an 85 Pete Alonzo. Alright. Lose a few base cards on that pack. Frazier, Tori, CJ Crone, Tigers, Luis, your quality, Eric Springer, Jake Rogers, Whit Merrifield, Sam Hilliard. All right, next up. Like it's got jersey in it. Baca Brousseau, Tyler White, a Dustin May rookie for the Dodgers, Nico Horner, rookie for the Cubs, Santana, Longoria, Jordan Zimmerman, Alberto Mondesi, Jose Arena, Garrett, uh, Wayne Christian. All right. All right, so here's a gold foil of Juan Soto. You have just received a 85 Topps Relic card of Runjin Ryu for the Dodgers. A picture. Okay. Got a Monty Urban Decades and Robel Garcia, 85 Cubs rookie. Dodgers, Bregman, Jordan Alvarez. Here's the rookie. Kershaw. Matt Theis. Matt Peterson. Okay. Alright, pack four. Looks like we got somebody popping in here. Let's see what we got here. All right, for the Jumbo Ram teams, all cards ship base two. Do you ship to Canada? Yes, we do. We'll ship to Canada for you. Not a problem. Um, I'll uh, I'll check and see. I mean, if it's like super duper expensive, I may charge you three or four bucks. I've got it worked into the random spots on the team for about three bucks shipping per. But if it's a little bit more and it's a lot of weight and stuff, then I may add a couple of bucks. But I can ship to Canada for you.
Let's grab as many spots as you like and stuff. Uh, when we get done, we'll have a little trading period in case you don't get one you want. Maybe somebody else didn't get what they want. So we'll do some trading. You know, a little bit of time to trade, see if we get the teams you want on the random team one. I don't ever think anybody has a problem with that stuff. 24 spots left right now. Justin Turner, Mercado, Cooper, Hand, Glacius. Ugh. It's almost like upper deck. Back and forth, back and forth. Munoz. Yelich, Travers, Johnny Corrado, and the Cleveland Indian team guard. All right. All right, we got a foil of Omar Narvalez for the Seattle Mariners. Jose Peralta for the Reds. Oh, that's a Cyberstat card. I finally figured out what those were. Cyberstat cards are out of 300. So you only get uh, about two of them in the case of Jumbo. I got two of them in the case we did yesterday. So Jose Peralta out of 300 for the Reds. Ted Williams Decade. And an Al K-Line 85. Ariano. Jesus Lazardo, Rookie for the A's. Correa. Brian Aurelia for the Cub or for the Astros. Billy Thornton, Luis Garcia, Baz Doolittle. Strasburg, Juan Soto World Series. There's Pete Alonzo, Kyle Schwarber, Ben and Cesar Hernandez. And on our base. Yes, indeedy, we do ship all. Flowers, Sanchez, Acuna, nice card. That's his regular. Garber, Andrew Kashner for the Red Sox, Bryce Harper, oh, that's not a bad card. Harlan Castro, there's a rookie Yamamoto for the Marlins. Kimbrel, Burrs. Okay, that's actually a pretty cool shot. Biggio and, and Bichette. <laughs> Both about, what, 19, 20 years of age? Maybe 20, 21. Pretty young. There's Biggio's Future Stars card. And, uh, okay, cool. That should be a good one to have. A Pete Alonzo home run challenge. So these, uh, you pick a day, put it in the computer what day you want to do it. If you hit the home run during that day, you win an entry into the home run derby uh, for the 2021 T-Mobile home run derby. That would be a nice card to, to pull off with. All right. And a gold full jumbo parallel Ramon Loriano. Going high off the wall. That's a pretty card. Frank Robinson decade. Dale Murphy, 85. Riley, Ferris, Mita, Yaz, Future Star. There's Otani. Posey. There's Jack Flaherty. Eloy. Yachty. There's Mr. Trout. That's a good looking card this year. Brandon Woodruff, Nelson Cruz, Moncada, Reyes, and David Dahl. All right, halfway through. Get the patch and the, and the bubble card, nothing big, so let's have a big auto. We need a big auto. All right, Chavo, Smith, Chapman, Tyler Sanchez, another Acuna. Aaron Hicks, 
Another Harper. Ah, nice Matt Carpenter for TCU. Craig Kimbrell, Milwaukee Brewers. Soaking it all in. Yankees celebrate a walk-off win. Ah, we got an out of 50 auto. Let's see who we're going to get here. Let's be somebody big. Austin Riley. Austin Riley gold auto for the Braves. Out of 50. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Austin Riley out of 50. And it's number 36 of 50. There we go. 36 of 50. That is awful hard with that camera angle. Okay. Decent auto. Not perfect, but decent. Card looks pretty clean. I don't see any chipping on it. No white showing around the edges. So that should be a good one. It's always fun to buy a single jumbo box and actually get a decent auto and, and get a gold mount to match. All right. Next one. Another Yamamoto. All right. Dylan Cease, rookie for the Cubs. Bobby Abreu, or Bryant Abreu, rookie for the um, Houston Astros. That's another gold one, 2020. A decade's next rookie of Jordan Alvarez. That's a nice card. Uh, base. And Gavin Lux, rookie 85. Maida, Yaz, Rodon, Eli. I think we're past the Jordan on this one. Uh, yep. Yuri. Oh, man. It'd be like two cards from there. Very close, but we're not there. All right. back. Daddy Holson for the Cubs, rookie. There's a Nick Solak for the Rangers. That was a great trade with Atlanta last year. That kid really can play. Should be our everyday second baseman this year. Oakland team cards. Andrew Miller. Boston Red Sox, Philadelphia Phillies. All right, so gold foil of Robert Perez, Tom Seaver, and a Dustin May rookie. There we go. Here's Mr. TCU, Tyler Alexander. He was our Friday starter for a couple of years. Played really well. Glad to see he finally made it up to the majors. It only took him a couple of years. Uh, let's see. In 19, he was... Uh, yeah, he didn't do so great last year. 5 and 10 in 20 games, 513 ERA, but five year total of 399. 89 to 92 fastball caught in Just eight hits in 12 innings over his first two starts. On South Lake, Texas. Yeah, that'll be part of the set. There's A.J. Puck, rookie. Now watch out for him, man. That kid can pitch. Pete Alonzo, league leader. Tyler Glass now. Kikuchi, Torres. Garrett Cole still in Houston. His action variation is in a New York Yankees uniform. Got a couple of them in the case we broke yesterday. Verlander, Santana, Mike Fierce, Peralta, Canada, 
Javi Baez and Chase Anderson. Two packs left. Two packs left. <laughs> no, just a single box that I picked up at the shop here local so I could have a box for myself. See what we get out of it. Uh, I bought all the cases and stuff to sell and I didn't get any for me. First chance I'd had to get out had been snowing the last couple of days. Uh, looks like we're going to sell a couple more of those things here pretty quick. Uh, one of the guys over on Breakers was asking about shipping to Canada, so... I think we'll probably sell a few spots for that one here too, so hang in there. I'll show you the autograph. Got a good one here in just a second. Okay, Vargas, Matt Boyd, Lamb. All right. So, Verlander for tops now. Got a Clayton Kershaw on the gold card. Dale Murphy, and an 85 of Bryce Harper. Bellinger, Hamza Alberta, yep, alright, so there's the auto we got, Austin Riley out of 50. Pretty nice card. And we'll come down a little bit. Get it in the picture. Austin Riley out of 50. Very nice. Alright guys. Last pack out of this little box of jumbo I picked up local. Alright. Hopefully something good on the inserts in here. There we go. Yeah, first one of those I've seen in this box. So, Bo Bichette, rookie. That should be probably the second or third best card in the set this time. So, Jansen. And there's the first or second. It's all between Jordan, Gavin, and Bo Bichette. So, there's Gavin. Nice to know they're close together. And Alex Young for TCU from Arizona. Another pitcher from TCU. Naka, Ian Desmond. All right. For the Baltimore Orioles, a silver foil of Jonathan Villar. And it looks like our short print is Brendan McKay for the Tampa Bay Rays. Got him pitching. Since I think he pitches in, he also uh, DHs too, right? Uh, anyway, that's his... Uh, rookie card, so that'll be an action variation rookie of Brendan McKay. And then we got the Ryan Sandberg 2011 card as Top's Choice. And we'll end the last insert in the box is uh, King Griffey Jr. Mariners 85 card. And we'll check to see we got another Yordan in here. I got one earlier that I was hoping for two. Nothing like being a little greedy. Davis, Mats, Kinsler. Nope. All right, that's fine. All right, so not a bad little box. Oh, nice. Very nice. Yeah, that's like that Aaron Noah we got last night in the break that was out of 25. Yeah, Brandon Rogers will be good. Very nice out of 25. Um, he should be pretty decent. Um, he's a good player. Um, yeah, it just depends on how Tampa Bay does this year. How he's gonna how he's gonna be. Um, we shall see. Alright, so not too bad. Plenty of inserts. Oh yeah, this is from the auto. 
uh, let's see, Decades Best and a Walker Bueller. And these are a few other cars. This is from the pack that had the auto in it. I stopped and uh, sleeved it and then forgot to finish looking through it. Posey, Flirty, Thorpe, McMorrisic, Woodruff, and Moncada. Alright, well, that fills the box up. Alright, so not too bad. Plus, the thing about it is, that's all inserts and stuff out of one jumbo box. So that's a fairly decent amount for what you get. And then the, the uh, chrome packs and stuff, you get a bunch too. So fairly decent. You, at least you feel like you get some cards for your money and stuff out of jumbo. Uh, and then the big hit in the box, Austin Riley out of 50. 36 of 50. There we go. Yeah, there you can see it. All right, there we go. Let me stop this recording here. So we're done. All right. Nice hit. Yeah, pretty nice hit. All right, so let me check and see if those other guys picked up some spots. Uh, let me check my uh, side here. See what we get. I also put in the uh, hobby break as a uh, PYT so I've got that up on the screen um, just to take a look at Corbin Graham, he took something for 45. Huh. All right. I'll have to take a look and see what was 45. Oh, I think he took the Mets. Let me take a look and see what he got. He's at 45, so. Mm
Hmm. Okay, I have no idea what he bought. <laughs> All right, hey guys, um, FYI, if you're going to buy something in the store and something, drop me a little note what you're getting. Um, just so I can make sure I get things right. Uh, looks like somebody bought something for 45 Okay, you bought the Mets? All right, cool. Thanks. Uh, Mets in the break, right? Okay. That's what I thought. Did you go through the store or did you just pay for it on PayPal? All right. Okay, cool. Thanks for the purchase. Get your name on there. Mets. MMB TBS. Thank you very much for that. Yeah, I'm still getting used to this new uh, website and all the stuff, so uh, bear with me. Um, I know it's supposed to tell you when it does things, but we're not quite sure how all that's working yet. My son's doing the uh, setup and stuff on it, so we'll look it all over tonight and figure out where everything is going and we'll be able to do this a little smoother anyway. Everything new is, takes a little time. It uh, should be good, though. Appreciate the purchase. Um, hopefully we'll get this done here in the next day or two. Got uh, 24 left in the Series 1 Jumbo Random Team, 28 bucks. Uh, well, hopefully it doesn't take that long. But, yeah, I know what you mean. Appreciate it, MMB. Uh, yeah, yeah, this stuff's cool. So uh, the next breaks we'll be doing, um, I've got uh, cases of the Heritage coming in at the end of the month. Uh, that's one of my favorite products, and we're finally doing my favorite year. So this year's uh, Heritage is the 1971 Black Cards, and I cannot wait to see how they did this in Heritage, because uh, at, at my 71 set, I've been working on it for 30 years, and I seriously doubt that I've got half of the cards that are somewhat centered. Most of them are off-center and everything else, because 90% of the production was. So it's going to be fun to see everybody's eyes when they, when they go by and they're looking and you're sorting the new heritage and they're thinking it's 71 because <laughs> it's all perfect centered we will see should be some big cards in that too the Jordan uh, action variation rookie auto gonna be as big as Aaron Judge we will see anyway all right thank you folks thank you very much um, all right anything else we can help you with uh, check out the website and stuff while you're in there I not only do baseball and football, I've got a lot of football box stuff right now. Baseball, it's brand new season. I don't have much of last year's. If there's something you're just dying to have, let me know. Give me some ideas on things people like, and I'll, be, I'll try to pick it up where it's reasonable so we can do some inexpensive breaks and stuff with it. We can do small, you know, um, serial number breaks on four or five boxes of decent product with numbers and stuff, or we can do, uh, you can buy personals. I'll, I'll try to get stuff where I can sell it reasonable. Uh, I'm working still on getting set up with some of the distributors, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get a good price on it. Uh, right now, Panini and Tops both are not taking applications for new people to buy direct. So the days of getting very inexpensive Tops boxes and stuff is probably gone. Um, they seem to have uh, decided to get with the program and are jacking the prices of everything out of sight to start with. Instead of letting the distributors make all the money, and uh, now they're doing it themselves. So, well, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's not. Yeah, we'll see. Um, I also do a lot of non-sport. So one of my favorite things has always been, of course, Star Wars and uh, Star Trek and, and uh, Lord of the Rings stuff. But uh, Game of Thrones is coming out. Uh, the series, uh, season eight, the final series of the uh, cards from uh, Rittenhouse. 
should be out within a month or so. We've got a couple of cases of that coming. I doubt we'll do breaks on that as such. I'll probably just sell boxes and stuff, but I'm going to open some myself, and I'll have some autographs and stuff available if you're looking for somebody specific or cards to finish a set. Usually those, though, you get a set in a box. So you can buy one, get your base set, and maybe pull a couple of good autos. Um, I had a Sophie Turner last year in Series 7, and everybody was trying to buy that card, and I said, not a chance. i got to have at least one of her. Uh, I picked up a Season 5 um, Aria, and I've got uh, Rob Stark and Jon Snow and, and, uh, uh, and Papa, uh, Sean Bean. So, pretty cool stuff. All the, the movies are just fantastic. Those dragons were the best thing I've ever seen in my life as far as dragons on TV. So, they did a really good job. I'm going to miss watching that every, every year and a half. But, uh, uh, and then I've got a lot of older game stuff too. I was really into like the old Decipher Lord of the Rings card game. I not only enjoyed it for the game itself, which was actually good. But I also enjoyed the artwork and stuff on the cards and things. So I've uh, put almost entire sets of that stuff together. I missed out on the last two or three sets, which only were released out in California. They basically were in print when the company went out of business. They just dumped it out the back door. So to try to find some of the the um, the late sets like uh, Hunters and um, things like that, you'll pay a thousand dollars a box for boosters, and I, I just don't see that. So. But I've got everything up through Black Rider, which was the last set that was actually put out uh, on the market. Uh, pretty cool stuff. And I've been picking some of the others up as I see them at shows and things like that. So, uh, Also, the uh, Star Wars uh, collectible card game from Decipher, that was easily better than Magic ever was. But it never got to play because it was a little more difficult. And so it was older people that were playing. Uh, but that time, was most of us were in the 30s or 40s that were playing that game. But uh, really cool, uh, good good game system and everything, but a little more difficult. All right, guys, appreciate it. Um, I really just got on, I've got a box of hobby here that I picked up too. I'm going to go ahead and break that, see what it looks like. I've got a case of it we're going to do here on the other. But you know, like I said, I didn't get any extra because nobody had any available. So I picked one of them up at local. We'll see what's in the hobby. Maybe we'll hit one of the clear cards. Uh, if you see something you want on it, you know, shoot me an offer on it and stuff too. So uh, I'm going to end up probably putting the autos on eBay and we'll see how it goes. All right, let me uh, click on the old mic here and uh, thing. I'll throw these videos up on YouTube here when I get done. All right. So this is for a box of 2020 Top Series 1 Hobby. Um, I guess there are just 24 packs now instead of 36 like the old days. But we'll see what we get. It's either an auto or a rat card, and then you ran them on the other stuff. So it was a lot more difficult to get the, the big hit cards and stuff in Hobby. But there are a lot more of the inserts and things that are kind of cool. Um, I've actually pulled some of the best cards I ever pulled out of Hobby boxes. So you can't just turn them down. I mean, you only get one of these. And, you know, no, header, no box popper. So, yeah, the Jumbos are definitely the way to go. But I also think they kind of loaded Jumbos this year for that million card break, too. There were a lot of fun stuff coming out of that. But only one golden ticket and only one of the cuts. There was an Ernie Banks cut that was pulled by one of the breakers about uh, six hours into the break. Um, all right. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Cool. Black Nico Horner rookie. I think those are, you know, they're fairly high number. $199, but that's cool. I'm here in Chicago, so that's a sellable card local. He's getting some good play, too. I hit one of his autos, and it went for, like, 60 bucks. And let's see, Ryan Sandberg, Clayton Kershaw, and Will the Thrill. that okay still working on trying to figure this darn thing out all right uh jordan uh i can get select football 
That stuff's going to be absolutely ridiculous, though. I mean, I, I'm willing to put the money out for a case of it if we can if we can actually move it. Um, last year, I think the boxes started at like 205. I think this year they're going to be closer to 250, 260 a piece. Um, I think they're 12 box cases too. I'll, I'm willing to do it if if we can get enough people to buy the, buy the things. Though it's a lot of money to put out, take your chances on it. But you know, I. I I opened enough of them until uh, I hit one of the zebra cards, and then I traded it for a uh, Baker Mayfield zebra. So I was happy I got the card I wanted last year. Um, yeah, we can try doing that and do division breaks. They're just so expensive, to do division breaks, though. Um, I bet we can find people to do it, though. Uh, I'll look and see what they're going to run, uh, see if I can get a, a case of it cheap enough to make it worthwhile. If I've got to go out in secondary market, the stuff's already ridiculous. So I'll see what I can do. I'll put that on my notes to look and see what I can find. All right, let's open this hobby and see what we get here. Not exactly thin packs anymore. It looks like first pack had the uh, had the jersey in it, so we're not going to get an auto unless it's an auto jersey. Black is flirty. That stinks. That's why I put them on the first pack on the front of the box. Congratulations, Armado Relic Card. Yep, there we go. Dead box. <laughs> Not necessarily true. I'm going to keep these singles base, singles different too. All right, so case in point there. Mix up your boxes so you don't pull the auto or the patch in the first pack. That's pretty cheesy. I'll make sure when we're doing the break to uh, pull the top row and put them on bottom. Okay, Ravali. Okay, it looks like the inserts are toward the back. So, Decades Best, Team Dodger, and Daniels. Uh, I may have to be careful and watch for the short prints on this, too. With the jumbos that are in the middle of the inserts, on these hobby packs, they may be at the back of, or the front of the insert. So, I have to be a little more careful looking through them. Uh, Anthony K. Now I know why they didn't use this to break at the uh, million card break. They would have gone nuts breaking this stuff. Chris Sale. Yeah. Yeah, they would have. All right. Next one. We'll definitely be flying through this stuff. There's a Boba Shet. And if you're right... Alonzo. Austin Meadows, Austin Meadows. All right, you're not going to have dupes of the same card back to back, generally. So let's look at this second one and see what it is. Oh, look at that. It's an out of 50. So that is a Father's Day Blue. Cool. 2450, Austin Meadows. That's a nice one. Austin Meadows Blue. And that was the card for that one. Very nice. Very nice. Shohei Otani, Decade Next. And the Mike Trout base card. Card number one again. And that is the base card. Not a special or a short print or anything. Yeah, it may have more color. Um, they probably have to put something in there to make it good. Um... They definitely, uh, you know, they have the out of tens, which you don't get in the other. But the Jumbos have that gold foil. I sold the Jordan Alvarez uh, gold foil card for 100 bucks today. I was kind of surprised. I figured it might be, you know, 40 or 50. Now they're going for like 110 to 120, so I put it out at 99 bucks and it sold in 15 minutes. All right, Black Guerrero tops now. Okay. Yep, looks like one insert per pack on these. We'll just have to watch for the short print and see what happens there. 
Okay. Brewers team card. So 85, we got a Rebel Garcia rookie. Yeah, I used, I used to bust a, a, two jumbos and one hobby each year. And that would give me the inserts that you could only get in hobby. And it would give me the stuff you could get in jumbo. And it would give me enough cards to work with for the rest of the year. Uh, is Monty Grandel? That might be a... That's a base card. I don't think that one had anything in it. Nope, no inserts at all in that pack. Here's an empty one. That's nice. Well, that's the way it goes. Yates. Decades best, Baltimore Orioles. Yep, definitely think we're going to be doing jumbos when we break this stuff. After we do this case of hobby and stuff, I, I think we're going to do okay as far as the, the stuff goes because I do think there's enough in it to make it worthwhile. But I definitely want to see the, uh, oh no, Austin Barnes. That might be a short print. No, this is base card. Okay, Andrew Miller for St. Louis. Got a full card there. I just haven't had a chance to look at all the base cards yet and see who's, who's won. Kind of action. Oh, let's see. On the Ordon Silver Packs, I've seen them for 15 to 20 bucks for the base card. The color. Uh, there was a green one out of 99 that sold for like 60 bucks. Um, and autos, a base auto for one sold for like 250 So... Yeah, 15 20 bucks is probably a good price on those to start with. Uh, if he has another monster year like last year, I, I would expect that card to go up even more. But you have to give it some room to start with. If they if they start high, then all they're going to do is come down. But I would think for that one, probably 15 20 bucks would be a good price. Uh, there were an awful lot of them on the market after that million case break. Um the first completed set as a bounty at the break, they did, um, whoever bought the first set up, they gave, they took that set and gave them an entire set stamped with a million card break, 101. So how about that for a bounty? So you have the only official set from the million card break, and every card in the set was stamped 101. Not a bad one. Uh, to go up and turn in. So, of course, the guys that did it for the break, then they're going to random them out to everybody that was in the uh, all the breaks that they did. So that everybody will have a shot at getting at least one of the cards from all 18 breaks they did. So I thought that was really cool on their part. Okay. Home run challenge card for this one is Anthony Rizzo for the Cubs. Uh, that's the one where you pick a date, you put it in the computer, he hits a home run on that date. You get an entry into the drawing for the grand prize of going to the the uh, home run derby the following year at the, the World Series or at the All Star Game. All right, and this one is the X's and O's card, Ricky Henderson, high power speed. So, what do they call those things? Uh, decades of Dominance, I believe, is the true name for those. Let's see, Lonzo. All right. That might just be his. That might just be their. Oh, look at that, Nico Horner, uh, eighty-five blue. You're right about the color. So there's a in parallel insert. It's not numbered. 
But they're 1 in 49 in Jumbo, so they're probably 1 in 100 in this stuff. Uh, that should be a decent card. He's probably the fourth best rookie in this class. Schwarber and... Yeah, so, kind of a Cubs case. A little bit. A Cubs box, anyway. All right. Chris Paddock. 1985 insert. Ah, for the White Sox, Carlos Rodon, rainbow foil. Come on, get something huge. That would be so cool. Decades best, Luis Aparicio. Insert. All right, good. There's a Nick Solak rookie for the Rangers. That'll be the best thing in this one for them. Hmm. Another empty pack. Yeah, I don't think there's any short prints on those. So bias. Yeah. Okay, so there's the second empty pack in the box. No insert. Thank you, Tops. Really enjoy empty packs with nothing in them. All right, and a Vlad Guerrero, 85. Definitely have to go through and do a box of each before you do box breaks on them, just so you know kind of where things are, so you're not uh, missing things and leaving them sitting in the commons. That's never a good thing. Hansel Robles for the um, Los Angeles Angels gold card. 1225 of 2020. Springer and Jake Rogers. Four packs left. Come on, big Jordan here. Yeah. All right. There's the Aaron Judge Top 65, Top's Choice Card, 1991. I'm not sure why anybody would want to be on a 1991 Topps card. That's got to be the ugliest year for at least a decade. Tom Murphy, Bradley, Puck. Okay, there's Gavin Lux. That's one of the two best ones. Well, one of the three. We'll, we'll put uh, Boba Shed in there, too. Lex, Yarborough, Matt Olson, Tyler Beatty, Rainbow Foil. Two packs left. And maybe since I hit a thing in the first one, there'll be an autograph in the last one. You know, that one in 24 thing. That'd be nice. I'd settle for that. Wouldn't be too upset. Alex Young, rookie from TCU. Dale Murphy for the Atlanta Braves. Great player in his day. All right, last pack. Come on, something good. Something good. Luke Jackson on the front. Ah, there we go. Last pack had the short print Garrett Cole. So that's the... Uh, that's him in his Yankees uniform. The uh, regular card's still on an Astro, so they made an action variation card for him as a in his uh, New York Yankee uniform. Uh, probably not a whole lot. Probably four or five dollar card, but still kind of cool because they got him in his uniform early for everybody else. So that's cool. All right. Well, that's not a bad short print to get if you're going to get one. If it's not going to be one of the rookies. 
Okay, so a little recap on this one. Um, way less than you get in the jumbo, for sure. So you get uh, about, for the price of two boxes of hobby, you get a jumbo. So you get, uh, you know, six hits versus two hits. Um, so jumbo is definitely the way to go just to break boxes if you're just looking for stuff. But hobby has stuff in it that you can only get this way, so you have to do this too. I didn't hit one of the clear cards, but a clear card of Jordan Alvarez is probably 1500 bucks at least. So you would think that would be a pretty good one to have. All right, so we got the short print of Garrett Cole. We got the blue of Nico Horner, 1985. We got the Nolan Arenado patch card. And we got Sandberg, Kershaw, Will Clark, and the black Nico Horner rookie out of the chrome. And that one was numbered 118 of 199. There we go. All right. So that will do it for this break. And uh, let's uh, try to fill some of these breaks and get, uh, get going on those so we can have some fun. All right, thank you very much. Let me kill this uh, recording. I'll get those posted up on YouTube so we can look at them and see how we're doing. Um, appreciate you watching, and um, it's been a long day for me. I've been on since uh, about 11 o'clock this morning, so I'm going to um, take a rain check here. Um, go to the store, pick up things if you need them. Uh, I'll make sure everything gets on the thing. We'll push it again some more tomorrow. Uh, word's getting out. I'm uh, advertising, spending some money on advertising and stuff too. Jordan, anybody you know, pass the word out that we're doing this. Um, let's try to get more people and stuff, and uh, you know, we'll make it worth your while. Um, this should be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. All right, you guys, have a good night. We'll talk to you later. Ah, somebody else popped on. Who just popped on here on uh, YouTube? Don't want to take off when somebody just pops in. So we got, um, I'm just do a recap real quick. Got uh, two down on the, uh, on the hobby. Pick your team. So the uh, Mets and the Blue Jays. And we got 24 left on the random on the Series 1 Jumbo. $28 a, a spot. 24 left. We'll random that one up and then let you do some swapping if you want to. Um, hopefully we can get more done and maybe we can get enough people in here tomorrow night. We can uh, uh, get one of these breaks filled up. Or maybe both. I mean, I'd love it if we could do that. Uh, then we can worry about football and stuff. Uh, I do have uh, football single boxes. Do you have um, uh, some... Uh, <coughs> I'm tired. Um, got a random team break on a four-box uh, mixer. And got a serial number break on a four-box mixer of football. Both those are in the break section on the store. And we've also got a random team break for Panini Limited, 14 box case, $75 a spot. Um, I'll keep that one on there for a few more days. There's a lot of limited going right now. I may switch it over to pick your team. I think enough people have I've got random on it now that they're probably wanting sp to pick specific teams. So I'll work on that tomorrow and set that up. Uh, we can switch it over to a pick your team break. And then maybe it'll move a little bit quicker and stuff. Um, yeah, I'll probably just, yeah, I'll probably do it as a 14 box one that way. I was thinking about doing a 10 box break on it and then using four boxes that we could put in um, some smaller breaks and stuff to mix in with some of the other stuff. But I'll just pick up four boxes from the local place. Uh, he owes me some favors, so I'll pick some up so I can sell them at regular price. And we'll have some of that hopefully for tomorrow night. All right, guys, y'all have a good one. Uh, check out the store and everything. See what, you, see what you'd like, and we'll go from there. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'll be on at noon tomorrow, uh, live through 6 o'clock, and take a dinner break and stuff. And then I'll get back on tomorrow night about 7, 
and let's see if we can't get this stuff uh, going and broken and stuff. All right, y'all have a good night. Thank you very much.